good day to all of you. Uh, my name is Sami Awad and as you know many of you have been following us on the series that we're doing giving you updates on what is happening with Whole Land Trust. I have been gone for a couple of weeks uh, away from you and the reason for this is I was in the United States in Yale at the Divinity School where I was one of the participants in an international conference bringing Jewish Christian and Muslim leaders to talk together, having a serious, direct conversation, not only in what is common between our faiths, but what are the differences, and how can we, through our differences and through our disagreements, actually work together for issues that deal with humanity as a whole, with global issues uh, as well. And it was a great conference, I'm glad I participated in this conference, was able to meet many people and for me, uh, as a Palestinian Christian, to really begin to understand uh, how other people look deeply in their faith and in their uh, religious uh, texts. Uh, but now, I am back here and I plan on spending a lot of time here, especially in the summer as we are having one of our busiest uh, summers, uh, especially when it comes to the Palestine Summer Encounter and the number of volunteers that we have here. It has been amazing. Uh, as we are now in the middle point of the Summer Encounter program and the volunteers that are with us uh, we have from all uh, nations around the world. I actually had to write this down just so I wouldn't forget. We have the United States, we have Canada, we have France, Holland, Poland, uh, Mexico, Australia, UK and Ireland are all represented as volunteers with Whole Land Trust this summer and we're just so excited not just about the service they're giving to the Palestinian community but about the relationships they are building with each other in order for them to work with each other after they return uh, to their homes. Um, one of the things we're also excited about that is part of the Summer Encounter program is uh, Dr. Mark uh, Braverman. Uh, many of you may know him or have heard about him. Dr. Mark Braverman, he is the scholar in resident uh, during the Summer Encounter this year and I have uh, been to two of his lectures that he gave to the Summer Encounter program. They have been amazing on just creating the space for all of us to understand in a very deep and profound way uh, Christian Zionism and Jewish Zionism and how they, uh, their history and how they are playing a role now in the political discourse of what is happening in this land. Uh, this week we will have a main open uh, public lecture uh, for him as well. If you are in the Bethlehem area, just click on the link and come and be part of this lecture that's going to take place at the Bethlehem Bible College. Um, one of the many, many questions that we are getting as an organization is in reference to the flotilla, the, the group of boats that are now in Greece but are aiming to break the siege in Gaza and what is our opinion on this? And of course we are hearing many people that say everything from there is no need for aid to go to Gaza to this is something that is, uh, has been labeled even by the Israeli government or certain government officials as a, an act of violence uh, and that those people will be violent towards uh, Israeli soldiers and so on. Well, we as an organization uh, actually do support uh, this non-violent action and activity that is taking place. Uh, we know that the amount of aid they are carrying uh, will not uh, be more than a, a drop in the ocean compared to the need in Gaza. And Gaza is in desperate need of aid. This is something that cannot be denied. Even United Nations uh, statistics come out recently showed unemployment at 54 uh, percent. Those who are living on one day, uh, one dollar or less per day, have tripled since the Israeli military military blockade uh, has gone over Gaza. So Gaza is in need. There is no doubt uh, about that. Uh, but what this uh, flotilla movement is, it is to show the world that even if the Israeli army pulled out from Gaza inside the land they have created a sense of imprisonment for the over 1.5 million who live in Gaza and that siege needs to be broken. There is no justification, there is no excuse for having these hundreds of thousands and million and a half people 
uh, suffering and being punished, even if there are a few who commit uh, violent acts. There are other ways uh, to deal with this, and there are legal ways, according to international law, and not a nation to deal with uh, any of this violence from Gaza, and not by imposing this collective punishment on the people. So as an organization, we support this work, and I encourage you to actually go to, uh, to the website, uh, YouTube, and watch the YouTube of uh, my good friend, I call him brother, Jonathan Shapiro, I have actually have him on Twitter and Facebook. If you go to my sites, you can also see his YouTube, as he is in Greece, as an Israeli, uh, committed to non-violently breaking the siege in uh, Gaza. Uh, the last thing I want to say is that we continue to wait for your comments and your questions uh, about Hold and Trust, about our work, to engage with us in a conversation. This is what we are here to do uh, while we serve the Palestinian community and we want to engage in non-violence and peace work between Palestinians and Israelis. We also care about your opinion and about any question that you have. And with this, I salute you until next week.